So in this video, we are going to focus on the compound light microscope. Now, when you do your um, UG, there are so many uses. You do this compound light microscope in your practicals also. But often I have seen that there is a lag and uh, we are actually using this microscope, but we are not that pretty confident about its parts and the mechanisms. And nowadays there is a focus about the practical things and they are asking a lot of questions about the parts of the microscope too. So let's have a full discussion over the different systems which are uh, present in this compound light microscope. Now see here, this is the picture. You can see I'm showing you the compound light microscope and it has got different so, uh, systems. Four systems are there. The support system, illumination system, magnification system and adjustment system. So we will first start with the support system. The support system consists of the base. This is the base here, right? And uh, it is horseshoe shaped. It has got two limbs which provides the maximum stability. Then we have got another part of the support system which is the pillar. Can you see? This is the pillar projecting upwards from the base. This is the base and here you can see there are two pillars. And after the pillars, you can see we have got the handle. This is the handle. Now, this handle is also called as arm, which supports the magnifying system. Next, we have got an eyepiece, the objectives. These are the part of the magnifying system and the adjusting system. Now, handle is curved, you can see, and microscope can be tilt it at the hinge joint. Can you see here? We can tilt it according to our convenience. Now, next part of the support system is your body tube. This is a body tube. It is a part through which light passes the eyepiece. And uh, if you look at the length, length is about 160 mm. Now, next is your stage. Can you see here? This is the stage. It is the platform which accommodates the glass slide, etc. to examine of the object. Now this stage has got an aperture. If you see, this is the center of the stage. We are having an aperture through which the converging cone of light reaches the object and the object is placed on the stage. Now, over here, you, you also have a spring mounted clip. See, this is a spring mounted clip and it is to hold the slide. Then also it has got two screws, okay. It has got two screws here, one for the movement and the movement that it is doing it is also uh, transversely as well as to and fro. Like we can move it transversely also. We can move, move it the anterior or posteriorly, back and forth also. Okay. Then next is your nose piece. This nose piece is attached to the lower end of this body tube. And under it, you will have the objective lenses. Can you see? These are the objective lenses having the different magnifying power. We have got four lenses here, right? Now, next comes your illumination system. Illumination system actually consists of uh, the light source. Then we have got um, a condenser. And then we have got an iris diaphragm. Now, if you start with the light source, light source can be external, like we can use the sunlight or any bulb, tube light, etc. Or we can have an internal source. Internal source, now the light rays from the external source will be reflected by this mirror. Can you see this mirror? And this mirror has got two surfaces. One is the plane surface and another is the concave surface. Now, if you look at the plane side, the plane mirror is used for the oil immersion while the concave mirror is used for the high power and the low powers. All right. Next, you come to the condenser. Condenser actually lies below the stage. 
this is the condenser it focuses the rays of light which is reflected from the mirror these rays when they are reflected the cone of light will be formed on uh, onto the object and this object will be lying on the stage now you can change the position of the condenser by the screws can you see here we have got the screws are there so we can easily change the position of the condenser now why we change the position to get the maximum focus of the light and also the accurate resolving power of the microscope so their condenser plays important role so for the low power objective lens the condenser will be placed at a lower level while for the high power we will place it at the highest level similarly for the oil immersion the condenser is raised fully so we can change it now after the condenser next is your iris diaphragm now this iris diaphragm lies in the condenser and it is actually regulating the amount of the light which passes through the object it is actually located at the bottom of the condenser which was lying below the stage now it has got a central aperture and can you see this so this central aperture and it can be opened or it can be closed according to the amount of light that is required okay we can also open or close the diaphragm accordingly now next is your the magnification system now we have got two magnification system present in the compound light microscope one is your eyepieces and another is the objective right if you talk about the eyepiece it magnifies the image which is formed by the objective and we have got two options available 5x and 10x so the 5x will actually give the power five times and 10x will magnify by 10 times in the monocular microscope single eyepiece is present while in binocular we have got two eyepieces present now if i talk about the objective lenses the objective lenses which is uh, present at the end of the tube this is your objective lenses right they are present on the revolving nose pieces and we can change the objective according to the magnification we have available like low powers 5x 10x then in the high powers uh, we have got 40x and also we have got the 100x that is available for the oil immersion so we have got two kind of mag uh, you know things present in the magnification system so the total magnification of the microscope actually will be calculated from the multiplication of both so suppose we have the magnification of eyepiece 10x and magnification of objective also 10x so if somebody ask you the total magnification of the microscope total will become 10 into 10 so that will be give uh, that will give me 100 times so you have understood this magnifying system next is your adjusting system for this we have got two adjusting screws one is the coarse and this black one is fine coarse the upper one and um, below is the fine the coarse adjust, um, uh, adjustment system consists of two adjustment screws which are actually present on the top of the handle and can you see these are double sided so double sided micrometer mechanism so when we are rotating one screw the other side will automatically gets rotated so what is the benefit with the help of either of the hand we can actually change the magnification right now along with the scores adjustment screws we also have the fine adjustment screws the uh, fine adjustment screws are actually lying below the course adjustment these black ones and they are also mounted on the handle and they also consist of the double sided micrometer mechanism so we have got a core system screws and then we also have a fine system screws both are uh, actually important for the adjustment so these were the actually the different systems of the compound light uh, microscope the different parts how to uh, use them what is actually the importance of the different systems and what is actually the use and importance with respect to each of the part of that 
particular system i have tried to elaborate hope you have understood it uh, completely and now on when any question will be asked from the compound light microscope now you will be very clear start from the four systems basically and then go one by one in each system uh, the uh, you know the whole of the topic will become very easy for you if you just started with the four systems so each of the part of the microscope is actually pertaining to one particular system and then you'll come to know that how they are interrelated and how they are going to help in the final magnification of the particular object thank you